So we're going to make like a little puff pastry and frangipan almond tart. It's so good. It's about these almonds. And if you buy them whole and peeled, you can get them everywhere. It's so much fresher to make your own flour. Now, if you haven't got a food processor, you can buy the ground almonds. But for that extra flavour, right, go for the whole. It's 100 grams. Whiz it up. In no time at all, you have the base for your almondy filling. And in about 30 seconds, you can see the texture here is like flour. We're going to go in with one egg, like so. 75 grams of icing sugar. One tablespoon of double cream. And then you've got this beautiful little frangipan that is so, so gorgeous. A brilliantly simple filling to make. Now, time for the crispy tart casing. We're going to use all butter puff pastry, right? This is a thing of beauty. If you need a quick pud, shop bought all butter puff pastry is a total lifesaver. I'm going to cut it in half and then just move it around like this, roughly into a round-ish shape. Then I've got a nice little tip for you guys. Um, instead of using flour, right, we're gonna use grease-proof paper. It's a brilliant, brilliant little tip. It stops your pastry sticking, which speeds up your cooking. Just put a little icing sugar there. It's gonna create that fantastic, fantastic little crunch and make it really snappy. And we want to roll it out about just under half a centimetre thick. Here is piece number one. And then we'll go for the second one. This recipe is so ridiculously easy, everyone should have a go. And then we'll take this filling and we'll literally just pour it straight in the middle. And what's amazing is the amount of flavour that comes out of just 100 grams of almonds. It's really delicious. So you can just move this around. And I'm just going to lay the other piece of pastry on top. Kind of like a giant ravioli. Simply cover with a plate and trim. And then use a fork to mark the edges. Just put a little icing sugar on top again. This will stop the fork from sticking. What's quite nice about it is we're not using any flashy pastry equipment. Fork, plate, greaseproof paper, five ingredients, and you've got a lovely, lovely, delicate little dessert. We just get your finger and just gently, gently push into the middle without breaking it. And then take a knife and just do a little score. And do a little egg wash. And then, my friends, we are ready to rock and roll. A bit more ice and sugar. And in the oven it goes for around about 15 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius, which is 425 Fahrenheit. And it's really important to put it right at the bottom of the oven. That way, you get a really crunchy, crunchy base with a lovely sort of delicate, poofy top. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And by putting it on the bottom, you can see, oh, look at that. It's nice and crispy. I love it. The simplicity of this is outrageous. And whether you're a professional, whether you're a good pastry maker or a total beginner, five ingredients, a little bit of love, no technical equipment. And now, you can hear how crunchy it is. What a treat.